Hey. Hi! Welcome to another adventure in Embracing, embracing Vintage! Aww! Oh, we're Embracing Vintage! Oh, it's so good to hug sometimes. It I just is. feel the stress roll on off my shoulders there when I hug you. That you know, so I, for those of you out there, I read somewhere recently that uh, you should hug your spouse every day. Make it a point. Mm -hmm. Just for, for to help your marriage, just make it a point to hug every and day. it releases endorphins. And twice a day, you should compliment your spouse. Where have you been on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of, uh, yeah. Actually, if I remember right, that was on a show that we were watching together. Why did I hear that and you didn't? I don't know. That's very interesting. A little selective hearing there, I yeah. think. Hey, you notice my awesome earrings here? Those are nice. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's kind of part of my story for this this episode. Ooh, These okay. earrings kind of have a little bit of a story behind them. I am Lisa. And I'm Mark. And we are embracing vintage, all things. Considered. Oh, wait, that's NPR. That's a different show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We talk about old stuff, old people. Selling old stuff, vintage things. But we don't sell old people. <laughs> that would be kind of weird. You know, I see all I those... I think it's illegal, too. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that child trafficking thing? Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's the opposite. <laughs> Senior trafficking. <laughs> Can we sell our older people? <laughs> hmm. Ooh, that kind of reminds me of that movie, Soylent Green. Remember when you could go into, like, an euthanasia station, and then they'd take those bodies and... Yeah. They made food out of them. as way back in the day. If you're over, what, 50, you probably remember that movie. Otherwise, if you're under 50, you should watch, watch that it. movie. Yeah, it's pretty good. A little disconcerting, but it's pretty good. All right. So, let's get moving on this episode. Yes. How have things been going for you? Pretty well. Um, the smoke has cleared up that we yes. talked about last time, but unfortunately, other stuff is in there, so we're both still struggling with allergies. Yeah. We went on a drive. We took her dad on a big drive through the mountains and everything. I had a sinus headache the entire drive. Yeah. It, the smoke was still in the air. We went down and kind of saw the burn areas um, where there's a wild wildflowers that were south of us, and there was still it was still smoldering. There was still fire, you know, and then Forest Service was out. but um, And, of course, cedar everywhere, which I'm allergic to. Yeah. So. so we were a little um, choked up yesterday. <clears throat> but today I have my Diet Mountain Dew. Thank you, Mark, for buying Diet Mountain Dew. And I just finished my coffee. So, I mean, we're... We're ready to ready to do this day. Yeah. Woohoo! Um, some bad news. We had bad news. Uh-oh. Yeah, we owe the IRS some money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I took a deduction, and then they came back and said, mm, no, you can't take that. So they want some money back. And so I have been just, like, busting butt last week, listing, 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 listing. So our sales have been up, and we've been doing pretty good. Yeah, we had, we've actually broke the $4,000 mark mm, for the I last, know. What, 60 days. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's like $2,000 a month. So that's kind of a new high for us. Yeah. So anyway, I went back through and I looked at all the things that I could remember that we sold you, that we showed you, <laughs> that we showed you, and um, the things that we have sold. So the first thing is that spindle for receipts. You remember, if y'all remember, I put it on my head like a unicorn. We sold that for $9.99. I'll see if I can find a picture of that to put in the video here. Okay. And then uh, we had a vintage rolling pin that we sold for $17. And um, y'all remember those beautiful cats. Remember those, all those little meow meow cats? Well, the blue cat sold the bigger one. So it sold for $16. And then all of those sterling silver uh, candle holders that we showed you last episode... Um, I sold them as a, as a lot of three, and they sold for $61.44. Nice. And they went to Germany. Wow. So they went back across the pond. I guess maybe they have 
a market over there for sterling silver candlesticks. So that's always exciting to me when we sell something to another country. Because, I don't know, it just makes me feel so global. <laughs> like we're a global know. business or something. <laughs> so I don't exciting. know if y'all remember, but these are the ones that I thought were silver. And she told me were pewter, or I thought they were pewter. And yeah. you told me they were silver or something. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Aluminum, silver, pewter, it all looks the same to me. Yeah, so. well, and the pewter ones sold too, but they just haven't paid for them yet. So those are also sold. So that was really surprising to me because I didn't think that stuff would sell. And so um, that was $104. So thank you, Mom. Yes, thanks, Thank Pat. you for the stuff. We appreciate you. Uh, and then this week when we do our mystery unboxing, don't forget to vote nope or dope on things. And we'll see um, what you all think about our stuff. But first of all, I want to tell you the story about these earrings. Okay. We went to a lady's house and she is moving over to Denver. They moved a year ago over here. She didn't like it, so they're going to move back. Anyway, we're in there um, and she has a bunch of jewelry to sell and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, and her bo her house is like boxed up. They are ready to move. And um, Anyway, her husband was there, and he was packing stuff up, and so anyway, I found these beautiful, um, they didn't have the earring parts on it, but I thought, wow, those would make some awesome earrings, and uh, so anyway, we had a nice visit and bought stuff and went home, and then a couple of days later, um, my friend and I are in the Goodwill, and who do we see in the Goodwill? This there lady. Is. And she is buying stuff. And I'm thinking, what in the world is she doing in here? Buying stuff for the good, you know, from the goodwill. You're moving. Why are you in here buying stuff? <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, I think, I think we're all just like these thrift store addicts or something. And that we probably need help. <laughs> <laughs> like Thrifters Anonymous. Yeah. And I know I have the bug. I just have to keep it under control. Yeah. But we all just kind of like, I think everybody is like a moth to a flame. <laughs> what? Look, a moth to a flame. Buy me. Buy me. Although, to be yeah. fair, every time we go in there, I find CDs. So yeah. I do buy CDs all the time. And CDs don't resell anymore. I mean, I took them to a, a, a what, pawn shop. They wouldn't even take them. Just certain ones, I think they'll sell online. I because there's a guy who does do well, really well with CDs really? and cassette tapes and things. But he has really odd, I think, scarce things that maybe they cut a hundred of them or something, and right. then it's just some weird polka or something <laughs> like that. I can't find this polka anywhere, and I really <laughs> like this polka, so I want to. Da, 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 da. See, I can't get through one of these without. But, but you know what? I There was an album that I liked when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And about, I don't know, six or eight months ago, I looked it up just to see if I could buy it again for now because I, I was feeling nostalgic, I guess. And they wanted like 150 to $300 for that. Oh, oh my gosh. Needless to say, I didn't buy it. Yeah, well, that's probably because there's only like a couple of recordings of it left. Everything else got trashed. So, yeah, yeah it's it's always just the weird, ugly stuff sells. Just, yeah, yeah weird, it, ugly stuff sells. So, so anyway, uh, let's get into it. Okay, well, this box is one that we actually set aside almost a month ago. Oh, my goodness. And then we got distracted and did other things and what all, so... Who knows what's in here? <laughs> oh. oh, look. Oh, my gosh. I'm not actually going to push it because that looks kind of nasty See, in, in there. there. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a perfume atomizer. Oh, you know what? It has a cross on it, so maybe it's a medical one. Oh. It's a medical. With dosages and. Yeah, I think huh. it's a, a medical, like. <sighs> Interesting. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Huh. Hmm. Well, well, I'll have to check that one out. Yeah, I think that's kind of dope. Get it? Dope. Ah. 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 Oh, clear glass. Yeah. Wow. That's not going anywhere, I don't think. Well, it's maybe, crystal, actually, but that's Maybe we okay. should have left this one closed. <laughs> oh, but that's just 
So Lovely. sweet. Need that. Because I'm kind of having a bad hair day. So. Or, you know what else it could be? What? <laughs> Jordy LaForge's gay brother. <laughs> gay brother with <laughs> pearls on it. God. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Oh, here's a nice Asian bowl. These are not selling very well. Japanese porcelain ware decorated on in Hong Kong. So, yeah, yard sale. Um, vintage. Oh, it's got stuff inside. A vintage manicure set. Do -do. That's yep. Huh. With the yucky stuff in it. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Uh, oh, that even smells bad. Well, this is kind of interesting. A little glass violinist. Okay, try that again. Or plastic, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's plastic. It looks glass, <laughs> but it's plastic. It's plastic. It's a Christmas ornament. It's probably going to hit the trash. Yeah. Oh, look. Or more yard sale stuff. Another, Another camera. camera. Now, I don't think we told everybody about the box of cameras that we got. No, I don't think we did. Why don't we go into that a little bit? Yeah, we... Uh, m my mom, she... Uh, Look at my hair. Oh. She, um, every week or whatever, she sets a box or a couple boxes or how many of her boxes out on the back patio. Well, she set out a box of cameras. And there were several vintage box cameras in there. Uh, there was also a 35 millimeter camera. And we have sold three of how many we had in there already. And they were going so, for fifteen to twenty five dollars for yeah. some of those. So they so, were you never know. Although there was a lot of there was like five or six instamatics in there. Mm -hmm. We just threw those away. Yeah, because they're not they're not worth anything. No. But these sometimes yeah, depending on what they are, we can get twenty five bucks for them. Based on what I was seeing, I, I think that one would go for probably fifteen ish. Yeah. Would be my so, guess. I don't know. We'll look it up to find out. It could be way off, but... Yeah, I think it's very interesting that that stuff's... Just More just... smelly good stuff. Oh, perfume. It doesn't necessarily smelly good anymore. It's timeless. Yeah, Vintage, well, I'll sell timeless. Up people with nasal cavities. Oh, it smells <laughs> like an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you go in the store and it's you walk... timeless. You walk by a, an older person and they have that, that perfumey smell. Well, there you go. Oh, <gasps> Oh, no, glass. That's good. Oh, but it's, it's chipped. chipped. Oh, trash. Trash. More Christmas. What? A little angel. Oh, that's just great. Let's see. It's actually Mexican silver. Might actually go worth something. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't know. Candle holder. Oh, yeah, these are brass. Hard sale, donate. Little measuring cup. Oh, a quarter cup. It's really crazed, but it's cute. You know, for syrup, my favorite new food, I love it, is Just French fries with maple syrup on them. You'll love oh, this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is a bag, a plastic bag, full of these. Canning jar rings. Yeah, what, what? No jars, no lids, just the rings. Well, sometimes people need them, but they look pretty rusty. So okay. I think they're going in the scrap metal. Box. Yeah. Little Coca Cola bear, if you're a collector. Yeah, he looks kind of dingy, though, doesn't he? Yeah. My mom used to collect those. I don't know if she still does. Yeah, I don't know if I can get him cleaned up or not. More Christmas plastic. Where to? Your chill. More clear glass. Your chill. Well, this has a telefloral on it. Yeah. Another perfume More atomizer. Perfume. This one's broken and it's it's like it's so hard it doesn't even squeeze. <laughs> nice. Look, mothicide. <laughs> mothicide. Paradichlorbenzene from Avon. It's empty. Little crab going across oh, your screen. This is a brass crab. I remember this from when I was growing up. My mom had this. 
Isn't that just cute? He's articulating too. Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to look him up. Next. Next. Oh, a He's little a glass bunny. bunny. He's a bunny. He's kind of cute in the blue. I don't know about that. Uh, belt buckle. Surprisingly, brass belt buckles sell. Do they? I have sold so many of them that have been from, um, like, the oil field industry, uh -huh. like tools and drill bits and things like that, that this guy is a quarter finalist, 1983 third annual ball promotions. It's an eight ball. That's kind of cool, actually. Mm. It's an eight ball. That's cool. Oh, more tea tea cups. Cups. Oh, Ooh, did I tell you the story about how I, I'm so, I wrap these things so carefully and then it still breaks in the mail because somebody. Because they just throw stuff around. Probably punted it across somewhere and it broke. So I'm not going to be selling any more of that kind of stuff on eBay because I just can't it's ship risky. it. It's so hard to ship it. Yeah. Uh, placemat, I guess. Yeah, made in Brazil, out of cowhide. <sighs> Just reminds me of those horns we sold. <laughs> but they sold. That's the thing that's so weird about this stuff. Is there are people who really like this? Because it is pretty, but I don't know. No per dope. This is just a little box <coughs> facial powder, <coughs> but it's empty. It's just an empty cardboard box. It's vintage, and we don't know. She's got it marked on here, two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Well, you know, she marks things how she wants them to be, not necessarily. Yeah. She doesn't research it. A little egg with a little. I don't. I guess you can't see that because of the light. But it's got a little chick on it. That's like a place card holder. Is that what that is? Yeah. Or a photo. You can stick a photo in there. Oh, okay. You know, display a photo. I just can see chick. that. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Oh, my gosh. This is just like dirty fabric. A yeah. single plate. Uh, it's corningware. Okay. I'm surprised it looks similar to my mom's pattern. I wonder what it's doing in here. A little miniature hat and coat stand. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm feeling anxiety and overwhelmed. It is just... <laughs> it's a load of crap, man. <laughs> We have to release the rum kraken. <laughs> I need the rum kraken. <laughs> the bottle's over there. Oh, I, don't know. Uh, I, I found some rum at the um, liquor store yesterday. It was on sale, so I got it. It was called the Kraken brand rum. So every now and then when things get really bad, we can release the, the kraken. kraken. <laughs> you know what this kind of reminds me of? Remember what? when Mary Poppins in the movie and she gets her carpet bag out and she's like, oh, and here comes the fear thing. That's true. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> Help. So here's a teapot. It's a genie pot. Magic genie, take all this stuff away. <laughs> Magic genie. And this is like nice and greasy. And here's a... These just aren't selling. So, anyway, yard sale. Yard sale! Oh, here's some Dobie's mixture. Medium strength. I don't even know what it is. Hmm. But it doesn't say on it, so... Patent in Great Britain for, six, for the successors of George Dobie and Sons Paisley. Uh, maybe hmm. it's hair wax? Hair, hair gel, I don't know. I can't even get it open. <laughs> I guess it's going in a lot of tin, tins. 
And here's the plates for those teacups that we had a minute ago. Yes. Oh. <laughs> You know, if you had a good enough glass cutter, you could take the centers out of those and actually make glasses out of them. Um, I don't even have a comment for this. It's a bunny. It's a skinny bunny. Look at Jeet's old fan. You know what? She reminds me of this ugly woman I took care of in Texas. <laughs> she was so thin and frail, but she dressed so well. Uh, every day. She was a preacher's wife. Yes, and she dressed so well every day. And this just reminds me of her because that's how she dressed. So cute. So cute. And now we know that Harold got a safety award. Woohoo! From Vico, I guess. Vico, yeah, safety award. He did the safety dance. That was a belt buckle. <laughs> safety dance. <laughs> Harold did the safety dance. <laughs> So if your name's Harold, you might want to buy that. Is this a... Oh, that's like for sugar. Is oh, it... sugar. Or is thought... it a tie clip? Oh, it is. I bet maybe it is. It looks like a spoon, but... I think it's a roach clip? No, I don't think it. It's got to be something else. It's got a little... It's too fancy for a roach clip. Maybe but then I don't know. Tie clip? I don't do drugs, maybe. I don't know either. Okay. Is this dope? Is this dope paraphernalia or... Paraphernalia? Is, is it a nope? I don't know. Kiwi! You stink. We're getting close to time, so I might stop here. But No, you here. stink. <laughs> he didn't get it. Did you it's see how long clip. it took him to get that? I was focused on other things. Like rabbits. Like little bunny rabbits. Like bunny rabbits. Well, that's okay. okay if we go long. You could always edit it down, take yeah. out some of that. More. And it's a nice little vanity jar, actually. Be cute to put some. I might even use that to put my uh, uh, Q-tips in. Well, there you go. On my new vanity that we're making. I guess I need to finish that, don't I? You know what? This is making my ears pop. <laughs> it's like changing the barometric pressure in my brain. Oh, that's a lovely necklace. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah. I think it's a watch fob thing. Yeah, it's for a pocket watch. Really? Yeah, because I oh. think you put your watch right here. See, you clip it in here. And then you have it for your wallet or whatever. Hmm. It's decorative. Okay. Trade. That would go good with my steampunk outfit, actually. A little vehicle. I don't know what we'll do with that part. Throw it away. A um, little wallaby kangaroo. That is thing. cute. It that's go cute. Left. Oh, Lee's something or other. It might be worth something. Oh, I love these. Couple, I'm going to keep those. A couple of these. Ramekins. Little Ramadans there. But I like this uh, opal, opalescent. Oh, that is stuff. just nastiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, actually, it's kind of cool. I mean, it is kind of a modern art piece. See? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that thing sticking out there is kind of... Yeah. I mean, it looks like somebody shot it or something. It's just shooting out. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that is kind of cool. I think I'm going to take a picture and post it on Instagram. Yeah. Because that's like an awesome picture, I think. Woohoo! Art with wet and wild. Wow. <laughs> that's cool. That... Yes, I don't even know. You know what that's for? No. That is for your crystal ball for you to see into the future. Oh. Ah. Yes. This is really cool. And the last thing in the box oh. is Raleigh's medicated ointment. Whew. And Pat thought it was worth four dollars. Yay. Well, does it open up? Oh, it's got some of the 
the artwork Some of the wet from and the wild art. <laughs> wet and wild artwork on it. <laughs> and it doesn't open. Well, we'll have to mess with that. You know what? I'll just put this all in a lot and see if I can sell it as a lot for a couple bucks. It's probably the best plan. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Okay, can I take my nose thing off? Please. Oh. <laughs> You know, with all the smells of all this stuff, it's kind of like... Nasty. <laughs> yeah, and I, I want to start coughing and... <clears throat> okay, so we went through those things pretty fast. And I don't know what my favorite thing is that I think... I think this is the coolest thing in the lot. This medical vintage ah, thing. Atomizer. Is that what it's called? I an think atomizer. It is an atomizer, yeah. But I think that is the dopest. Do you have I an kinda, opinion on dope? Um, as I look at everything, no. But I guess I'd have to go with the crab or maybe the crystal ball holder thing, because I can imagine putting something in there and I could do something with that. Okay. Well we'll see what's gonna happen. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks. Always a pleasure. And we'll see you next time. See ya.